Or the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Leo, for the present time, we've got this interesting fool card. I have to say it slowly because it's hard for me to say that word. I don't know why. The fool card. Now, this card is about an indicator of newness. Could be in one form or another. But in many ways, it indicates purity. Purity and the open-hearted energy and innocence of a child. Because we all know children, they're trusting, and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is generally considered a positive card, but there could be one thing that's gonna be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a real big mistake. And that's what this guy is doing in this picture. Um, he's just trusting that he can take a leap and he'll land on his feet. But he's just taking a leap. He has the open-hearted innocence, innocence of a child. And he's just jumping right in there. Not paying attention to where he's going. Because he's just feeling carefree and he just wants to have fun. So, he, it looks like he could be hiking. And he, it looks like he's about to step off of a cliff. Up in the mountains maybe. And what's below, it looks like maybe the Pacific Ocean. So, it's all blue water. I don't know if you can see. But it's surrounding it below him everywhere. All blue water. It's got to be an ocean. So, there he goes. He's about to land. So, it's all about just being carefree and taking a leap. Just jumping right in there. So, this Fool card is paired with the Six of Pentacles. Which is a card about a turn for the better. Particularly when it comes to money. Because when you, heard, when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's... That word, it indicates finance, cash, coins, income, salary, money. So it's a term for the better when it comes to money. Um, it's one of the more positive pinnacle cards. It speaks about equality, fairness, and the, and the nature of life, yeah. So you'll be f heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole cycle with the Six of Pentacles showing up for you. So, it's a card also about generosity. Meaning that you are about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So, this is a great thing. Yeah, someone could be giving you uh, maybe a large sum of money or... Yeah, something of value is coming in towards you. I tease my subbies. I say, uh-oh, some, some of my subbies must got a sugar daddy out there. <laughs> they like when I, they laugh when I say that. But, yeah, it's about being the beneficiary or the giver of something of, of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now, basically coming up for a gym. For the present time. Six of Pentacles and the Fool card. So there could be someone wanting to take a leap towards you. It may be kind of difficult these days with this virus going around. Maybe you know someone long distance that's trying to reach out. Or they want to come closer to you. Could be something like that. That's what I'm picking up. So I, I'm picking up this reading may not be for all Leos. But it could be. But with this full card, it looks like maybe you want to take a leap towards someone or someone towards you. Or you're just ready to jump into something. And it looks like it's going to be, be good for you. Because you gain in a lot of ways. And it takes you into a really positive cycle. Yeah, so I like these two cards for you for the present time, Leo. Now, we'll clarify it more 
once we get to see what the rest of the reading is say. So for now, we'll move on over to how they see you, the person you're dealing with. They see you like the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. This Queen of Swords, it can point to a woman in your life. Now, as you can see in the picture, this woman, she's not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes, possibly. It could, go, it could go either way. And if it's not an actual person, it can point to the need for you to be forceful and honest in the situation just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. This queen of swords, it's indicating that your instincts, they're on point. They're serving you well. And you already know what it is you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. Once again, this is a very forceful energy. Very forceful. And a lot of people find, find it very abrasive. So they see you putting your foot down. Putting your foot down and using your sword. So something's going on here. Now it's with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in the tarot. Once again, it's a pinnacle, so it could be relating to money, finance. Very positive. It's good overall. It means that you're doing well. This Three of Pentacles, it points... Well, it tells you that people around you, as you can see these people, they're below him. And then they're looking up to him. They're appreciating his efforts and they notice the quality of work or they notice the quality of what you do, even if you're not getting paid for it. This card tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're, you're on track. There could be some room for improvement, but at this time you will not have to scrap something and then start again. And this is also how they see you. They see you offering some benefits. I don't know if you're financially stable. You, maybe you got a good 401k and a life insurance policy. <laughs> Something with this three of pentacles. Yeah, they could see you offering teamwork. Or you just want, you just want to um, collaborate with them. They see your skill. Your quality. They see you as quality. Put it that way. That's a good word. And they see you in a very positive light with this Three of Pentacles. Someone who has all the qualities that they've been looking for. But they see, also see you putting your foot down with this Queen of Swords. Like I said, uh-oh, something must have happened. Because there's some type of forceful energy here. So it looks like we're going to have to come back to, to this card. Once we see what the rest of the reading has to say because why are you being so forceful here we'll find out soon enough so let's move on over let's take a look at how you see them now we got the eight of wands and the eight of cups so the eight of wands is showing a lot of things could be up in the air you could be frustrated tired of waiting but it's about being patient a while longer You've probably done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But, don't try to force things. Because if you do, it could backfire. It could backfire on you. Sometimes our actions, they're all in the risk. And all we can do is put our best out there and see where it lands. So, you put your best out there. Now it's about waiting. Playing the waiting game. And this is how you see them. It looks like they might be wanting to communicate with you or reach out to you. But it's not happening fast enough. It's in the process, but... Or you know it's coming, or... Or you're aware of it, but... It's just moving slow. It's just up in the air. So somebody could be frust... You see them as being frustrated and tired of waiting. Now, because it's with the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups is interesting. It looks like this man is ready to walk away and just 
leave it behind. And Eight of Cups is about withdrawal, retreating, and moving on. Yeah, so you can see them as choosing to leave this situation. Where it could be a relationship, job, a neighborhood. Or this situation, they may, may decide to leave. There could be some sadness involved. But the separation is usually in a person's best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a job, a relationship, a living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make this choice. Just keep in mind when one door closes, it has to do that before the next door can fully open. So, you see them as maybe deciding that this relationship is going to end. <clears throat> is going to end. <coughs> and I'm picking up, it's because it's just taking too long for something to happen. Uh, it's just taking, things are just, it looks like things are just up in the air. And nothing seems to be happening. Like I said, I don't know if it's because your person lives long distance. And then we're limited on the things that we can do to get together with other people. I don't know what's going on here, but it sounds like something like that. So, things are up in the air. This is how you see them. They're frustrated and tired of waiting. With the Eight of Wands here. And the Eight of Cups is, is showing that they could just withdraw. Or retreat. Or just move on. Because it's just not happening. Something they want to happen and it's not happening it's just going really slow. I'm picking up that's a lot of people's story. It's a lot of people's stories. It's a lot of people's, a lot of everyone's story these days. Because we're so limited on what we can do nowadays with this crazy virus. So why it's happening? It's happening due to this Ten of Wands and the Hangman. Now, the Ten of Wands, you can feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. As you can see in the picture, the picture above why happening, that's the Ten of Wands. It looks like this man, he's got all these wands on his... He's carrying all these wands. It looks like he's walking forward. But he's about to fall backwards. So like I said, it's about a heavy burden. You may need to look hard. And see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load. Whether literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden you're carrying. It actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself. And don't try to take on too much. So one of the reasons why it's happening, there's something difficult here with this Ten of Wands. Yeah, the connection could be at a hard place or just going through a rough time. But it needs support, though. Someone needs to come run, run behind this man so he doesn't fall on his ass. Yeah, it needs support. There's some difficulties here. And because it's with the hangman, the hangman is showing that uh, someone's at a crossroad. Could be the type of two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. Uh, you probably find yourself wanting to do something but having no idea what it is or how to do it. And if that happens, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, and things because it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or maybe a wish that you need to let go of. 
yeah, any sacrifice that you make is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. So this could be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. So it looks like something needs to be let go. Could be, a, like I said, a crazy way of thinking. Let go of something so that you you or your person is not stuck in their head, confused. Because it's causing the rela some relationship difficulties. So maybe someone has to just get stuck, get their, get their self. So maybe someone needs to just get unstuck from their head. Their, their thoughts because like I said this person doesn't know in or out up or down yes or no they're confused but they need to let go of some type of attempt to control the situation because it's just causing difficulty in this connection so just to recap the reading so that we'll get the complete picture so the present time, it looks like somebody's wanting to just jump right in and take a leap, okay? Be a child again and just don't care. Just go for it. And it brings about great benefits. Yeah, really good benefits comes, comes with uh, just jumping right in there. So it looks like you will not land into the Pacific Ocean after all, and if you do, you run, you you drop right into a pot of gold with the six six of pentacles there. So they see you as being forceful, abrasive, ready to use your sword, and yeah, ready to use your sword and. Also, when you do that, they see you as um, in a very positive light. So they like that you're putting your foot down and, and it, it makes you shine. Yeah, they like this energy because it's with the Three of Pentacles. But you see them as wanting something to happen, but it's not happening fast enough. So you see them as possibly walking away. Because it feels like a burden. It feels like a heavy load. And it makes them confused as, as heck. They're stuck in their head. So that's just too, it's just too much of a burden for them. So they could be, you see them as just, just letting it go. Whatever it is you guys are trying to do. And then it looks like you're putting your foot down and say, oh, no, you don't. And then it looks like your person could come around and just take a leap eventually. And just jump right on in there. Or this could be you. Because you got the sword. You're saying, oh no, no, no. You know, I don't think so. And it looks like you just, you might just take a leap and jump right on in there. And do whatever it takes. For you two to come together or for you two to make the situation right. And then like I said, it's a good thing. Because you get the Six of Pentacles. Like I said, it. You two, you two land into a pot of gold, or maybe you're you're landing into a pot of gold with the six of pentacles. So it brings about a happy, a very happy, fair and balanced relationship or a connection with the six of pentacles. But somebody's got to just jump right in there. That's what I'm showing instead of just waiting for things to happen. And it looks like I'm picking up it. It could be you because your person looks like they're ready to walk. I don't know what you guys are trying to do. But I'm picking up it could be something delayed because of the way uh, things are slowed down in the world today. So you put your foot down. And take a leap 
or or it could be a person who jumps right in and things turn out for the better with the six of pentacles here so this is a good thing like i said i don't know what you guys are trying to do why are things still up in i know why they're i don't know what's still up in the air put it that way or what you're trying to do but it looks like it turns around for the better yeah and then picking up it's because you put your foot down they turned around and just took a leap instead of walking away because at first you saw them just giving up so this could be a situation with your person and if you're not dealing with anyone uh, it, it could be just a situation maybe a situation that's going on in your life today Leo could be like this or it could be coming up towards in the month of June something like this is is heading your way so be prepared to take a leap because that's what you're going to have to do to get some um yeah to get that pot of gold you're going to have to jump right in there and pull out that sword so good luck to you leave good luck to you leos yeah i said leo right yeah good luck to you so i hope you enjoyed the reading i hope this resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading.